Today we will learn Five Kingdom Classification and Binomial Nomenclature. In the beginning, Carlos Linus divided the organisms into two kingdoms. One was Animalia and other was Plantae. This classification was made on the basis of mobility of the organism. Those organisms which can change the place are kept in the kingdom Animalia and those organisms which cannot change their place are kept in the kingdom Plantae. But there was some problem with this classification. Fungi which does not contain chlorophyll is not a plant, yet is kept in the kingdom Plantae. To overcome these problems, various attempts were made to classify the organisms. Out of them, the five kingdom classification is most popular. Let us understand it. Scientists named Ernest Haeckel, Robert Whittaker and Carl Woos divided all living organisms into five kingdoms based on cellular structure, sources and methods of nutrition and body organization whose names are Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. It has been observed that in any kingdom there are also organisms which are different from each other in terms of any specific characteristics. That's why each kingdom is again classified into subgroups. Similarly, on the basis of characteristics, organisms are divided further into smaller groups at different levels, from which a hierarchy is developed. In this hierarchy, there are kingdoms at the upper level and at the lower levels respectively. There are phylum, class, order, family, genus and species a place at the lowest level. Species are the group of organisms that have considerable similarities in terms of body organization and can reproduce with each other. For example, all humans come under the same species which are called sapiens. This species belongs to kingdom Animalia. Since in species there are organisms that are very similar to each other and can interbreed, that's why the species cannot be divided further. Hence, species is called a unit of classification. Five kingdoms proposed by Whittaker are Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. We will talk about them in upcoming videos. Now, let's talk about binomial nomenclature. We know that organisms have different names in different languages. This can cause various difficulties such as when a person is talking about an organism in one language, the person speaking another language may not understand which organism is being talked about. To solve this problem, the binomial nomenclature proposed by Carolus Linus was chosen. In this method, any organism is given a scientific name and the organism is known by this name. This name has two terms which are words of language Latin. The first word denotes the genus of that organism and the second word denotes the species of the organism. For example, a domestic cat has a scientific name Felis domestica. This means that domestic cat belongs to genus Felis and species domestica. In this way, wild cat has the name Felis chaus, in which Felis is the genus and chaus is the species. 
While writing scientific names, we need to keep some rules in mind. Let's understand them. The genus name must start with an uppercase letter of English alphabet. Species name must start with lowercase letter of English alphabet. In printed form, the scientific names are written in italics. But when these are written by hand, both the genus and the species are underlined separately. Now here is a task for you. Find out the scientific names of any five organisms and try to write them correctly. The branch of biology that identifies, describes, classifies and names animals is called taxonomy. Today we have learned five kingdom classifications and binomial nomenclature. Nature.